All right, y'all. Welcome back. We're going through another tutorial Tuesday edition today. We're gonna focus on some handstand push-up things that we can help you out with. Um, so by now, um, especially if you're a member here, you've done some handstand push-up progressions, uh, quite a few of them. And so what we're gonna focus on is some more details that'll help make you more efficient, um, and uh, will play a big role in uh, being able to continue to perform handstand push-ups when you start to really fatigue. All right. So the big thing that um, I want to go through real first, real quick first, is um, talking about the midline and how we can engage that midline in our handstand push-ups. So first I'm going to quick demonstrate the tripod position and the kick that I usually see um, from most people that does not engage their midline. So that looks like this. Alright, uh, so you notice I did not bring my knees as far down as I could on that. Um, my, my midline, if you look closely on that, you can always re uh, rewind and go back. My midline stayed really, really flat. And uh, when I kicked, my heels hit the wall prematurely, meaning they hit the wall before I was um, all the way locked out, which can really kill your progress when performing multiple reps of a handstand push-up because it's just um, killing your momentum each time you do a rep. So the second time I'm going to go here, I'm going to show you how I really get my midline engaged. And what you'll probably notice at first is more so simply that I'm bringing my knees down farther. Um, and that's fine if that's all you take away, but ultimately what we're trying to get you to do when doing this is to engage the midline. So you'll focus on my back a little more and see how it goes into more of a hollow position. And when I initiate that kick, I kick into an arch position at the midline. So you're not only using the power of the leg kick, you're getting some power from that extension at the spine. Um, so we'll take a look at this. All right, so that was more of a a, um, a full um, uh, kipping kick using the midline on that rep. So we want to use the second rep as much as we can because it's engaging more muscles of the body, creating more work output, um, and you're going to be able to produce more power through that kick, meaning it's going to take less out of your shoulders in the short term, as well as in the long term, towards the end of a Metcon, you're going to be able to continue to rip off reps instead of kind of burning out and sitting there and staring at the wall that we've all kind of um, come accustomed to with handstand push-ups at times. So um, so those are just the quick details. If you want, um, or those are just the quick uh, points of it. If you want more details on it, we got a blog post coming out on it, on this topic, so make sure you're checking the uh, CrossFit Big Dane blog. Thanks.